guys, gals, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, how is it going today? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to another episode of Marcel's World. Now, before we get into anything and before we move on, you know what I want you to do. I want you to like, comment, or subscribe so you can stay notified every time we do videos like this. Or go live, baby. Yeah, uh, had to do the little dolphin head twist spin thing majiggy for you. Now, what you guys are seeing behind me is not the village, not the village. We got something else going on. Let's go check it out, y'all. Okay, let's get rid of these guys first. So this is perfect timing. You guys can see we are sitting up on the iron farm and we got the golems falling in. This is a little problem that I have. And I really don't want to add the glass because... It causes way too much lag. So I have to come up here and fight these guys every once in a while. They don't want to listen. But this is how I get rid of them. Just like so. Boom. And then knock them off the side. Which is not a problem at all. This is just the night spawn. Um, you know, I'm glad you guys got to see that. You know, we're this one here matches this one here. We got uh, three cells here. Three cells there. Um... With full of villagers, it's 64 villagers in each cell, and they are spawning in probably about, um, I would say, if I'm not mistaken, about 4,500 um, iron ingots an hour, which is pretty cool. These guys are falling, they'll go down the water streams there. And they'll end up in this little lava magma block uh, pit right there, as you can see. That's where they would go. Let me get around here and see if we can see better. Yeah, there you go, right there. They fall in that little thing there. And uh, that's where they get toasted, man. So, yeah, guys, look at the iron golems coming on in, man. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Yeah, there they go right there, going into their little tube of uh, death. <laughs> They all come down. We have a little problem with the system um, here. A uh, little bit of things where the golems will actually um, get stuck. See this guy right here? You know, and I get to do a little target practice because all you need to do is hit him one time. It knocks him in the water uh, aqueduct and brings him down in here. We're doing a wonderful amount. And yes, look at that there. Yes. We got them all coming in, baby. <laughs> Sorry I had to yell, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Yeah, the iron farm does close to 5,000 iron an hour. Um, that iron farm I showcased, but kept to myself. Um, so this is where we are going. This is what we are doing today. As you guys can see, we got the little... Uh, we got the iron fence. Man, that's what I love about ways because it doesn't look like bars. It looks like fence. It's awesome. Um, but this is the entrance if you're in this area and you want to come into here today We are going to be doing an obsidian uh, Generator and this is where we got our little layout um, Actually guys before we even get started in that I want to show you that we got the whole entire uh, Storage system dead right big shout out to mr. Beast who doesn't play minecraft anymore from the mind nerva clan I mean they still play but they just don't make videos anymore um, and yeah, the storage system is all the way over here. Still got iron going dying down there. I have a concrete farm there, uh, make concrete there. Down here, I have the furnace array. If you check out my earlier videos, you will see me making those, um, which is pretty cool. And now we are going to get out of here. <laughs> And we got a villager who has wandered from the village and came over here to check us out. What's up, buddy? And it, the, the, the storage is pretty awesome, man. You know, we got um, each one holds a chest and a half. You can see there holds a chest and a half of items. Pretty much all you need as for one person. Um, not going to use much, you know what I mean? But, yeah. So, anyway, a lot of these we still got to put items in. Um... Yeah, so anyway, but <laughs> anyway, back and here we are. Bim, bim, bim. This is where we are going to be placing our 
obsidian generator and this is what we are going to be working on today people so i got all of my supplies all up in here so um we're gonna grab all of this stuff out so that way we can get started on what it is we need to do yes sir so how's everybody doing this uh evening right now where i'm at it is 10 30 p.m and that is on the east coast yeah so um yeah man so we are going to get this thing popping and get it built up so we can generate a summer city and i always do that you know in ways it's cool man look at this this is pretty awesome right peter on four takes with the block in the block all right so we are gonna do a little switch out man i gotta get everything ready uh boom, boom, bingo bango and try to put this thing together man you know what i mean because that's what we need to do um doing an obsidian generator man is something i always like to have in the world that way you don't have to you know go through the unnecessary um you know ness of finding lava and then you know trying to basically uh get everything together so that way you can build uh you know a portal nether portal so and then plus in ways the obsidian looks pretty cool man like look at the purple blocks check that out aren't those awesome you know all of the blocks look awesome in this thing man that's why you know i'm using the palettes that i'm using to build stuff this one i just wanted to look you know obsidian is a tough block and i wanted it to um yeah so you know i i just really enjoy you know the ways because i don't know it's just like look at the cobblestone man all these blocks are pretty awesome um they're pretty cool to use and you know look like that's a redstone block <laughs> you know and i really enjoy how the thing looks out and i wanted this to look dungeony you know because obsidian is supposed to be like a tough like kind of spooky block and plus i wanted to add something different man you know i really chose the red in here for all of this stuff so you know it would match like the terrain and stuff like that but then i you know that's enough red for me for <laughs> one base <laughs> so yeah you know um that's pretty much you know i didn't want to have uh oh man wrong thing i didn't want to have too much uh you know red going everywhere things of that nature you know what i mean so um i thought about it you know having it like this but then i wanted to mix it up and then have all different types like look at the colors on that you know and that's cyan and it matches with the prismarine and you know the village i wanted to do you know different types of wood and stuff like that and then put the the lapis and the diamond blocks to make everything look pretty cool but i wanted this to be like a little kind of rough and tough area i want my areas at the end of my uh storage units to look pretty cool and then i'm going to show you something else afterwards so yeah that's uh pretty much why you know i was going the route i you know was going and we're going to end up moving a lot of, <laughs> of my uh tools out and because uh oh i need to grab something else where uh, we're gonna use the polish and then like you can see the different blocks man when they come out some of the blocks which is pretty cool they actually look let's put all the water because we're not gonna need that anytime soon and we gotta go get some cauldrons as well but like some of the blocks they actually don't um look like you know what they do when they're in your hand you know what i mean like these these here you guys take a look at these like the iron doors those are awesome i think those look super cool <laughs> but they don't look like that in your hand you know what i mean it's pretty cool i just wanted to show y'all that little sidebar yeah guys don't pretty much don't don't mind me man sometimes i get a little sidetracked if you're new to the channel <laughs> and then i'll be just talking about one thing and then going off on a tangent and another thing so it happens don't even let it by oh come on seriously just pick it up pick it up thank you uh, 
Bingo, bango. It's looking pretty good, looking pretty good. And we, what we're doing, man, is we are putting together the mechanism. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're just putting together the, the mechanism. Oh, man, help. So, right, we'll get into that in a second. You know, we're just trying to get the system set up dead right, man. Um, to get us this, uh, this obsidian generated. And, you know, I like to build a bunch of different stuff, man. You know what I mean? And this is why we're doing a city generator. Some people will probably be like, hey, man, there's no reason for an obsidian generator. You know, you're not going to use obsidian. But if you believe that, then you obviously don't know me very well. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to move on to a different part of the build. And, uh. We gotta get our chests in there and we're gonna be setting up the chests that are actually going to hold um the choker boxes because we're gonna have choker boxes full of um you know lava in here and this is gonna be a choker box unloader along with the uh oh what's going on somebody's talking too much <laughs> yeah so the part of the system is gonna be a uh choker box unloader which is going to unload the lava that we are going to use to actually um, put together our obsidian. Gosh darn it, y'all. I forgot to do something, so we got to move this out. Forgot to put the block in front of um, there. Then that goes there. Okay. You know, it's funny because, to be honest with y'all, man, I've actually, like, memorized how to build some of these stuff. Some of these, <coughs> excuse me, some of these systems, but, you know, I haven't taken the time out to learn what they actually do. <laughs> I just, you know, go stroll down memory lane and uh, remember how to build some of this stuff. Okay, guys, so, yeah, and I knew there was one more right there. I really love, hey, let me, another sidebar real quick. Look at this. Look at the cracks in the wall, man. This is, yo, this is amazing, man. I, you know, you got bricks that come with cracks. I wish the cracks came different ways, but, I mean, they're all shaped the same, but it's pretty cool. You know, I like how it, um, it works out. You know what I mean? So we got that there, and now... Okay, now we are going to add some droppers here. Um, I think they go right here. <laughs> okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. There we go, there we go. Man, look how everything just looks nice and smooth, man. If you don't have this texture pack, man, you definitely need to get it, man. Trust me when I tell you. And plus, I also have, like, the 3D effect. Um, it's, like, built into my screen. I can make things make, look more 3D-ish. That's why if you look at my shield, you can see, you know, that you know how it's shaped like that. And it looks pretty cool. You know, most of my stuff looks like that. You know, I think it's pretty awesome. And I can change, like, how much depth is actually um, in my, uh, you know, 3D. The 3D part of it. And things like that, you know what I mean? So, it's actually pretty awesome. Especially when I do something that's 3D. But, let me jump into bed. Be right back, guys. I'm going to get the rest of this, uh, you know, the ground level stuff in. And when we get up to the... the main level uh be right back with you okay because we're gonna we got a few things we are going to do today and i don't want to spend up too much time you know talking and building this thing so we're gonna jump ahead a little bit and i'll be right back with you guys all right guys we are coming up on my favorite part of the build is the um decorating part so i don't know which block i'm gonna go for i think i want to make it dark so um i'm going with the dark gritty grimy theme um just so you guys can see i just want to show you something real quick man how uh 
obsidian looks in uh, this air build. This is obsidian right here. It looks pretty awesome. You know what I mean? So maybe we should use obsidian. Maybe I should have never put that down there because now it's going to take me three years to pick it up. <laughs> so maybe we should use some obsidian, huh? That would be pretty cool. Okay, so let's go grab a few more. Nicely, I don't know. We're just gonna use it for some parts. We're not gonna use it for all. But yeah, we are up in the decorating. Let me go grab a, matter of fact, it's about to be dark. So let me catch a nap. Uh, let me grab some more supplies um, before we get started on this because pretty much on the best part, there is and that's the decorative part that's my favorite part so i'll be right back with you guys in just a check so yeah i figured since it's uh an obsidian generator and <laughs> why not use obsidian you know what i mean and look at that yo and this and this um this one here it looks absolutely amazing so let's grab uh oh wait no we already got some right here Put that back in there in case we need it. We'll grab it. But this is going to go here and check out my redstone lamp, man. Looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> I like that, man. Yo, this joint be uh, having me all excited about using it. Uh, we need to grab a button. Because this is what's going to kickstart our system. I wish we had different... Do we have... Too bad we couldn't get buttons from... You know, like other ones. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. So you can't make a button out of diorite. Like, you can't just put that there. It's only stone. Oh, you know what? Let's try one of these buttons, man. Maybe it'll match. I just thought about that. Maybe it'll match um, the palette on the redstone lamp. Let's see what it looks like, y'all. Ooh, my button and let's see oh yeah I mean it's not all that but look I mean you really can't you know what I mean you really got to be looking but yeah that's going down so we're gonna keep that there wait let's get back to this all right guys I almost forgot let me get my grub on real quick all right and we are going to close this up I uh this guy right here is trying to commit suicide he just climbed up there and jumped off the wall I don't know what he was thinking and then he walked out look 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 cause they said they fixed that and he shouldn't be pathfinding like that and here he goes again he's gonna die soon whatever you know he's gonna be replaced buddy okay so now that we've done that we are going to come up around this because we're going to get on to the next part of this which is getting to the part where we're making obsidian because uh, -huh. <laughs> uh right now we are pretty much uh using it up so but look at that man it looks it looks great doesn't it guys it looks pretty awesome right pretty awesome so let's um let me uh put this away and we are going to move on. I'm going to show you guys about that in a little while. So we're going to move on to the next part. Okay, so now that we got that in there, we do need our obsidian back. Um, put that in there by accident. I am running. I blocked that. And then we are going to go here and here. And also we need another one of these bad boys because we're going to place it right there. And that is symmetrical with that one there. And then we are going to place one of those there. And I know we have, where's the chest? Oh, uh, we gotta grab us a chest, y'all. Chest to chest to chest, chest, y'all. Say it with your chest. <laughs> don't mind me, it's late. Look, I'm throwing stuff on the ground. I don't mean, and I don't wanna pick it up. Okay, so we're gonna place a chest there i wish the chest looked different like they don't they didn't do anything with the chest you know which is uh pretty weird they did something with everything else but not with any of the chests so where are we going back here all 
right. So that's, yep. Spencer is going to kick it out. It's going to fall in there and go in there. We're all great. This is where the obsidian will be made and um, we will be hacking it up. I don't know if I like those, but they kind of match the floor. So, and I'm digging this right here. This is just awesome. What do you guys think so far? Um, these actually look like night lights, like the lava that it takes to make the obsidian. <laughs> All right, now we are going to connect this front part. The way down to here, y'all. And what y'all think? I got a, I got a treat for y'all too, man. I'm thinking it's gonna offset it, man. When we put this floor in, um, look at that there. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. Oh, that's gonna look so fly, uh, man. I ain't even wanna tell y'all. I ain't even wanna show y'all. Y'all don't know how to act. <laughs> All right, what are we doing next? All right, guys and guys, boys and girls, we are on the super duper complicated part. We need a couple of buckets. I think we just need one, but we'll take two just in case. Because I don't remember. Now, we got a complicated part coming up, man. And this takes some concentration. So, I want you all to concentrate. And don't uh, freak out on me. And just make sure you're doing all right. Because we're going to put us some glass right here. And uh, then we got to grab us a couple of blocks. And then this water has to be put in a certain way because of the simple fact that, like, you don't want to mess it up. Um, and in order for the water to generate the obsidian and not generate cobblestone, if you catch my drift, y'all, because you know with the lava hitting the water certain way it will only generate uh cobblestone one way and if you know if the water hits lava a different way then it generates uh obsidian and you want to make sure that it generates the obsidian so um not talking about that let's move on so yeah like i was saying that um you know it, it has to be done a certain way so that's pretty much how it goes at the moment yeah guys and gals so um we are gonna throw quick lighting in there um so that way to light the back of it up and you guys will see what i'm talking about because what we're gonna be doing is we'll be stationed here and you know we'll be hitting you know the obsidian there and that's why we want the light it kind of sucks that 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 beacon is there um but you see the light there um we'll be here and you guys will see what i'm talking about and you'll be uh we'll be swinging for the obsidian right there you know and it'll be uh we're gonna put a uh uh fence here so we can't move and the closest block we can hit we'll only hit the obsidian we won't go past that and break the lamp or anything like that or anything behind it so We'll have a post here, which we'll be putting up in a little while. Um, we just wanted to get the lighting in there. So, you know, it looks cool, man. We got to do, because you know how we do in Marcel's, bro, man. We got to take care of everything, man, and make everything look copesthetic. Nah, I mean. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we are, uh, what, how are we getting back down there? Okay, in a minute, we're going to end up stuck here. And we're not going to be able to get out. <laughs> you know what? Let me put this here. Then put this here. Then put that there. And then remove these things. Because I don't like uh, breaking stuff too much. So, okay. So, do I have any half slabs on me? Yes, I do. Take that, and we got to now get rid of that, and then place it there. And I got to go and grab a nap. So I'm going to go to sleep, guys, real quick. And when I come back, man, we're going to have most of this thing finished up, man. All right, guys, gals, boys, and girls, we are just adding um, some lighting here and there, and... 
we are about to um, cover this joint up in just a second. And we're gonna use the mycelium because the mycelium and this texture pack actually comes out um, purple. <laughs> so let's get down in here. We'll throw a couple of lighting in there. And we just want to make it look nice and solid, you know. So that's why we got the the uh, the bricks underneath. And uh, everybody close their eyes. See you later. So that's why we're going to throw that in there. And then we're going to take the mycelium and put it in here. That way. Look at that there. Look at that there. Man, that looks awesome. Doesn't it? Looks great. I'm loving it. You know, because it actually makes the little purple in the inside pop out. It's pretty cool, right? I knew it was going to look good. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> we actually got to take this one out. And we are actually, um, okay, so, <laughs> so let's throw an inner chest in there, uh, you know, just for a bingo bango. Drop it in there. Make it look good. Um, I'm thinking maybe we should throw one. No, one here. And let's see if do we have any in there. Okay. We got some in there. Get these. We want to make it look nice. So we're going to drop one there in the corner. Let's back up and see how it looks, man. I mean, it's a lot going on. You know, and I kind of want to take these out and put something different but i'll take a look at that later um okay so and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to get this all covered up guys just wanted to do a walk around so you guys can check it out um we are gonna close this all up and uh, we just got a couple more things to do so when we come back i'm gonna give you guys a a little quick test run on it so you guys can see how it works okay so i'll be right back with you guys hey guys gals boys and girls your boy is back in the building and a drum roll please ta-da <laughs> yeah boy got my obsidian generator looking like a beast Beast mode, let's take a walk around here, man. You gotta come through the fence gate, man. Get security clearance if you wanna come up in here, huh? And then you'll come up in here and you get to see this beautiful looking build right here, man. You know, look at them purple blocks, man. Them joints is popping, man. You know, it dawned on me right at the end, like, oh, yo, I got them sitting right here. Why not use them? Uh-huh. So we threw some lanterns up there and we did the flippity flop with the uh, stairs, man, to make the ceiling look, you know, pretty nice, man, with the edging around it. Um, Throwing some purple terracotta blocks and spread them around in the bricks and the cobblestone on the bottom here. Uh, up against the crack wall, man, a little pathway for you to get through the back. Um, Just wanted y'all to check that out. We threw some lanterns up there. We also threw some lanterns on some posts up on the back wall over here so we could light it up just a little bit. Make it look nice. We are going to close off of this area and we got to do some terraforming and all that stuff. And this is going to be an uh, enclosed area from the sides. The top will be wide open though. We're not going to go crazy on that. But let's get back to this beauty of a build right here. So now in this chest here, you know, this is where you got all your circle boxes full of lava. And you hit this button right here. So you can get the thing kick-started and get it going. And that will drain out the sugar box and then drain all the lava out of the sugar box. Because like I said, we hooked up a sugar box unloading system. And I threw original purple sugar box there to keep it in keeping with the National City and block there. So what happens is um, once it drains it out, it gets it ready. You'll place yourself right up against this end rod right here. Then you'll hit this button. You only got to hit it once because once it gets the obsidian in there, you just do this right here and it'll disappear and what it does is it goes into 
the chest right there and you stack up your obsidian and all of the empty buckets of water actually get um, drained into that joint right there. So you're pretty much good to go, man. And you could just sit here and this is the AFK spot and you just hold it down and you can bust up obsidian to your heart's content. <laughs> yeah, boy, man. I am so feeling this build right here, man. And this is how you'll get all your obsidian, man. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I tried to tell y'all, man. We're going to do something spectacular over here in Marcel's world. You know, and you can just collect your obsidian, man. We had a bunch in there because we had to do it to get the build, you know, going and get it finished up, man. Yo, please, please, please leave a comment down in the in the comment section. And if you're new, you already know what to do. You hit that like, comment, and subscribe. So you can stay notified every time I do builds like this or go live. All right, guys and gals, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. It is that time of the video where we reach the end. And you know what I'm going to say. It's time for me to say that positive quote of the day. All right. Now, here it is. Whether you think you can or think you can't, you are always right. So that just means, man, always think you can and you'll be able to do whatever it is you want in life, man. Never settle for less than what you want to achieve, my peoples. This has been a positive quote of the day by yours truly. Hey, Marcel. And I want to thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me, man. I really appreciate the love and support all you guys are showing me. Make sure you check out my uh, Facebook page, my Twitter account, my Reddit account, where you can stay up to date on everything that I'm doing here in the channel. Uh, just and if nobody told you that they love you, man, hey, Marcel loves you. All right? I'm out. Peace!